It was very dark, and the wind howled horribly around her. She felt as if she were being rocked gently like a baby in a cradle. Huh. All's quiet after the storm. There's no trace of anything. Over. I wonder... Does that lake of darkness where Nero does his fishing... ...look something like this? You're quite the poet today, little master. Where do you come up with this stuff, huh? Read some books, Mary. It's good for you. Books are made from paper, little master. And they're such a pain to carry around. Paper and stone tablets last longer than optical data, you know. Besides, reading a book helps me get to sleep. How's the sensor readout? Anything showing up? Nothing at all. It's as if even the atoms are at rest. Not even gas or dust? If it was a giant flare, it should have at least left behind some high-energy particles. How could that be? An entire planet was here just a little while ago. Retrieving Little Master. Open Cargo Bay 6. Opening Cargo Bay 6. Opening Cargo Bay 6. Let's go! Keep up the pace, everyone. We still got work to do. Welcome back, little master! Yo! Ariadne's completely vanished. But it doesn't seem like it was destroyed. It's almost as if someone is hiding it somewhere. Hiding it? Where would that be? Who knows? The best way to find out would be to ask the person who's hiding it. Shelly? It's very slight, but I'm getting a reaction from the primer. No question about it. Some kids playing with matches, maybe? What happened to that fleet, anyway? We haven't heard anything since we picked up that distress signal six hours ago. Gnosis, huh? Hmm. They must have been totally wiped out. Not necessarily. When the little ones play with fire, you know their folks can't be too far behind. Oh, I get it. So you reckon that the mom is gonna show up soon? Exactly. Change course. Proceed to the last known coordinates of the Federation fleet. <laughs> <laughs> 